Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. The fifth characteristic of the neoclassical poetry against which the Romantics revolted was versification, uh, the difference between versification and true poetry. This uh, topic to some extent has been covered in this uh, topic number four, the lack of imagination. As you know, we have been discussing the characteristics of the neoclassical age against which uh, the romantic poets revolted. The first one was that the neoclassics were interested in form and not in matter, while the romantics were interested in matter too. The second characteristic was the theory of poetic diction. They believed that the language of poetry is different from the language of educated people or from the language of prose and that the standard uh, meter is the heroic couplet. And the third one was the object of poetry, which according to the neoclassics uh, were great people, uh, written for great people, about great people and in grand language. And the fourth one was the lack of imagination of the neoclassical age, which was there in the Wordsworthian age or the Romantic age. So the next is the difference between versification and true poetry because uh, the new classics were interested only in versification. They would uh, develop some and think about some philosophical system and this philosophical system which can be expressed or which could be expressed in prose was versified, was converted into verses by the neoclassical poets. So you can see that there is a separation of the two processes. The um, thought, uh, the the thought about the philosophical system, and then converting it into verse form. There is the separation of these two. This is the example of versification, that you first think about something which could be expressed in prose, and then you versify it, create verse for it. For it, as I have been given, as I have given you the example, for example, I'm now delivering this lecture in prose, but if I versify this lecture, which can be very easily and in a better way expressed in prose, if I versify it, then it would be the new classical idea. So this is what they did. This is referred to as versification. This difference between versification and true poetry. True uh, poetry is that poetry which cannot be expressed in prose. Something which can be expressed in prose uh, should not be expressed in poetry. In poetry, uh, these two processes become one. The the thought which comes first in the neoclassical age, which came first, for example, and then the versification which came second. Both these processes take place at the same time in the case of uh, uh, real poetry or true poetry. The neoclassical poets emphasized diction in meter. We have discussed this point earlier that the meter for them, the standard meter, was the heroic couplet and uh, they emphasized that there should be great words used for expressing and for writing poetry. So their interest was in manner of writing, their manner was poetical, but what they wrote, that is the matter, that was not poetical. Now we know that uh, whenever we write something in poetry, we color the simple incidents um, we are told about in poetic form. These simple incidents are colored with the help of imagination. And it is the coloring of imagination which makes it different from prosaic expression. Uh, similes, symbols, and suggestive language, 
they are of course used just like the neoclassical did but the conception throughout is poetic there is no separation of these two processes Matthew Arnold has said about the 18th century poet poetry that that was the poetry which was conceived in wit while genuine poetry is conceived in soul this sentence uh, means that uh, the neoclassical poets were interested in reason as that was considered to be the age of reason and they rationalized things they rationalized even poetry something which could be written in prose was given expression in verse form that was not genuine poetry because genuine poetry is conceived in soul this phrase means that the two processes of thinking about the matter and then writing it in poetry these processes become one if you are writing genuine poetry which is conceived in soul this is the meaning of conceived in wit and conceived in soul if something is conceived only in wit it means that it will lack imagination and that uh, it will be done with the help of these two separate processes while genuine poetry is done not in these separate processes but the true process processes take place at the same time this neoclassical age can be considered as the age of prose the great age of prose but it wasn't the great age of poetry because they banished our strong passions and imagination from poetry ye fifth point <coughs> ye characteristic jo ki new classical mein tha wo tha versification ka ab versification aur true poetry mein farak hai versification ye hai ki aap kisi cheez ke bare mein sochte hain wo aap express karna chahte hain और वो आप प्रोज में भी एक्सप्रेस कर सकते हैं लेकिन आप प्रोज की बजाय उसको मीटर में डालते हैं और इसको एक्सप्रेस करते हैं जैसे मैंने कहा मैं लेक्चर दे रहा हूँ प्रोज में अगर मैं इसको वर्स में डाल लू पोइटिक शक्ल में तो ये वर्सिफिकेशन बन जाएगी और ये जेनुअन पोइट्री नहीं होगी तो जेनुअन uh, पोइट्री वो होती है जिसमें ये दोनों प्रोसेसेस आपकी सोच और जो आप एक्सप्रेस uh, uh, करना चाहते हैं पोइट्रिक uh, शक्ल में आना पोइट्री वर्स वर्स फॉर्म और सोच दोनों यक, एक जगह पे आते हैं uh, ना कि अलग अलग प्रोसेसेस हैं तो इनकी जो पोइट्री थी इन्होंने मैनर को ज़्यादा वोकियत दी और मैटर को कम फोकियत भी और नेक्स्ट कलरिंग ऑफ इमेजिनेशन आप कोई चीज लिखते हैं फिर उसको इमेजिनेशन उसमें डालते हैं तस्वर तखीलती तखीलत का रंग देते हैं इसको कलरिंग ऑफ इमेजिनेशन कहते हैं सिमिलीज मेटाफर्स तो इस्तेमाल होती हैं लेकिन ये इमेजिनेशन ज्यादा जरूरी है कि इसको कलर किया जाए मैथ्यू आर्नल ने एटीन सेंचुरी पोइट्री में कहा है के बारे में कहा है कि इट इज इट वॉज कंसीव्ड इन वेट इसका मतलब ये है कि ये दो प्रोसेसेस अलग अलग थे प्रोज में जो चीज़ लिखी जा सकती थी इसने पोइट इन्होंने पोइट्री में लिखी और जेनुअन पोइट्री जो है वो सोल में लिखी जाती इसका मतलब ये है कि ये दो प्रोसेसेस जो इसका बयान हुआ ये यकजा किए जाते हैं पोइट्री में तो ये एज ऑफ प्रोज तो था न्यू क्लासिकल एज एज ऑफ पोइट्री नहीं था क्योंकि इन्होंने बैनिश किया छोड़ दिया पैशंस को और इमेजिनेशन को तो इसके साथ ये पांच कैरेक्टरिस्टिक न्यू क्लासिकल एज की खत्म हुए जिसके खिलाफ रोमांटिक लोगों ने एहतजाज किया दैट्स ऑल थैंक यू एंड गुड लक